Char Charlie Mash, Baller Twins King, Property Destruction, Mascalero, $20 alive, $10 dead. Well, let's go do a bounty. You know what I don't have? It's a rope. Maybe I should progress the McFarlane. Someone. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarlane, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat, come on! Oh, if I had just done this mission, I would have been an armadillo. Instead of going there myself. That was stupid. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Oh, snap. Bonnie McFarland's still not having any of your shit. sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I really like that, uh... I have a small holding oh. of a great plain. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. I like that Marston is deliberately... Um, excluding bits of information about his story and why he's here, so that even though we're playing John Marston, it still feels like we're learning things fresh and new as they come up or when it's important. I really dig that. So Armadillo. Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. 
<laughs> Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Well, hello there. Barber and dentist. Not feeling ill, I hope. Howdy, mister. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Hmm, I wonder what I need. Huh. If this place cleaned up, I just snake skins. I wish I was dead. Chewing tobacco apples. Why, thank you. The apples are for your horse so that it resets its stamina. Dark red, you will die. Thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Well, that was supposed to be my introduction to Armadillo, but I already came down here. Do if you want to leave Armadillo... It, Armadillo? Armadillo's usually stayed coaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. You can now purchase and rent properties marked with... Oh! What's going on? Come on, move. Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to shoot that guy. New items are available to purchase in the store. What kind of new items? Bandolier. Doubles ammo capacity on rifles and repeaters. Volcanic pistol, double barrel shotgun. Ammo, ammo, ammo. I sell armaments to them thugs, whatever the profits may be. Let me buy the bandolier. That's enough, friend. Cool. I was just trying to shoot that horrible fella. Uh, hello. Easy, partner. Nice to see you. There is nobody here who's better than me. Get that. Come on. Help. Hello there. Good to see you, sir. Just said that mouth. There's so much talking going on. So many random conversations. Oh, play it, piano man. Purchase for 50 bucks. I will. Complete American appetite strangers task. Didn't I already do that? Baller twins outfit. Complete a night watch job at McFarlane. Win at horseshoes at McFarlane's. Claim a Baller Twins gang bounty alive. Defend re residents of Hannigan's stead from the Baller Twins gang. Purchase at the tailor in Thieves Landing. I 
All right. So we bought our apartment in Armadillo. We accidentally shot a guy that we weren't supposed to shoot. Um, Hello there. We should take a stagecoach back to the McFarland Ranch. Uh, ride as a passenger. McFarlane Ranch. Uh, let's skip to destination. Let's take a nap in the back seat. Oh, that fucking music is still playing. Damn Spotify. Okay, McFarlane Ranch. Oh, why are you gonna drop me off so far? You know where I want to be, stagecoach driver. Um, one of the outfits was Angel Bay with the GGs in the chat. Uh, complete a night watch job at McFarland Ranch. Let's do that. Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. All right, dog. Just gonna follow this dog around. Oh, sounds like a storm's coming. Hey, doggy. Here comes the rain. No, don't go in there. Just gonna aggressively open that door for no reason. Where are we going, Charlie? Dog, dog, dog. This is enthralling gameplay. At least give me some rabbits to shoot or something. What is it, boy? Oh shit. Good job, dog. Benny. Money Matt P. Thank you for the follow. Benny. Give me my reward. Thank you kindly. Angel play with the host. Thank you, sir. Alright, Bonnie. 
Oh, that's a... That's a big old hat you got there. Sir. That's a big old hat. Check between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. Fine. Treasure map. Campsite. Oh, there's some poker going on over here. Well, let's have a nap then. We'll save it up and... Oh, let's grab some ammo first. Chicken chaser. <laughs> Women and cattle. Oh boy. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying <laughs> to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Oh, shit. Probably, Miss McFarland. Sick bird. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, huh? I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never I can't saw believe this game man, is eight years old. To hear him talk so about good. It, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer. Sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? 
Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> Mount your horse. somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. I just jumped out of the way. Don't pull out your gun. Instead. Easy. Load up now. He's just showing off now. a raccoon. Move on, move on. You should learn to ride when you learn to burn. I did it. Oh, there's You're flowers I need to collect bird. there. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Okay, bye. True frontiersman is a master of all aspects of the wilderness. Can gain fame and money across the land. The path of becoming a true legend is long and hard. Try shooting birds or skinning coyotes to start on your way. I already did all that game. Come on now. Come on now. Collect six desert sage. In addition to any you may already have. They are found in and around Gaptooth Ridge.
Raven's Rule says, hey bro, do you remember me? I do. How's it going, Raven? Uh, I really need to unlock the lasso. I guess I'll just keep doing Bonnie missions until that gets unlocked. Oh right, Raven hung out with us when we were playing that fucking Google Maps game. Taught us about Pop-Tarts and the oven. Indeed. Also, Africa. Oh, Desert Sage. I'm not looking forward to having it. Collect five wolf pelts only using my knife. up your sketchy excuse me excuse me Bonnie wild horses tame passions this must be where I get my lasso well hello mr. Marston how are you fine thank you how are you I'm fine thank you did you meet my father John Marston this is my father drew McFarland Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had that mustache, though. We had drought. No, oh, if only. Hawks. Terrible winters. Wish I could have a mustache like that. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government... So-called federal government. ...covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I, mean, I can't do that mustache. My is a menace. mustache hairs Men like don't connect to my beard hairs. I just gotta... Isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that a nice little gap thing. going. You may be right, sir. I got a two-part beard. Well, you're a brave man. <laughs> you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Preposterous. Me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. Or a city dweller, that is. <laughs> Not a silly dweller. How many times do I gotta tell people? The tea was poisoned. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Oh, thank God. Now I can finally bring right. people in alive. Mount your house. Whoa. 
Let us go. Don't body check my horse like that. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. It ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. What is that bull doing just wandering around? Know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Preach. 